Hamilton opposes Clinton again. The cause is taken notice as as securing the attachment of the people to their local governments present us with another important truth, natural imbecility of federal governments, and a danger that they will never be able to exercise power enough to manage the general affairs of the Union. Though the states will have a common interest, yet they will also have a particular interest. For example, as part of a union, it will be the interest of every state that the general government should be supplied with the revenues necessary for the national purposes. But it will be the particular interest of each state to pay as little itself and let its neighbors pay as much as possible. Particular interests have always more influence upon men than general. The several states, therefore, consulting their immediate advantage may be considered as so many eccentric powers tending in a contrary direction to the government of the Union. As they will generally carry the people along with them, the Confederacy will be in continual danger of dissolution. This, Mr. Chairman, is the real rock upon which the happiness of this country is likely to spit. This is the point to which our fears and cares should be directed to God against this, and not to terrify ourselves with imaginary dangers from the specter of Congress will be our true wisdom. The universal delinquency of the states during the war shall be passed over with the bare mention of it. The public embarrassments were a plausible apology for that delinquency, and if it was hoped the peace would produce greater punctuality. The experiment has disappointed that hope to a degree which confounds the least sanguine. If these states are not united under a federal government, they will infallibly have wars with each other, and their divisions will subject them all to the mischiefs of foreign influence and intrigue. The human passions will never want objects of hospitality. The Western Territory is an obvious and fruitful source of contest. Let us also cast our eye upon the mass of this state, intersected from one extremity to the other by a large navigable river. In the event of a rupture with them, what is to hinder our metropolis from becoming a prey to our neighbors? Is it even supposable that they would suffer it to remain the nursery of wealth to a distinct community? These subjects are delicate but it is necessary to contemplate them to teach us to form a true estimate for our situation. Wars with each other would beget standing armies, a source of more real danger to our liberties than all the powers that could be conferred upon the representatives of the Union. And the wars with each other would lead to opposite alliances with foreign powers and plunge us all into the labyrinths of European politics. The Romans, in their progress to universal dominion, when they convinced the project of subduing the refractory spirit of the Grecian republics, which composed the famous Achaean League, began by sowing dissensions among them and instilling jealousies of each other and of the common head, and finished by making them a province of the Roman Empire. The application is easy. If there are any foreign enemies, if there are any domestic foes, to this country, all their arts and artifices will be employed to effect a dissolution of the Union. This cannot be better done than by sowing jealousies of the federal head and cultivating in each state an undue attachment to its own power. Record. If you like this reading from Samwise J. Morgenstern, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. You may also follow us on Facebook, um, tweet me at Samwise J. Morgenstern, also follow me on Tumblr. If you would like to uh, support this show that I do, 
You can support me on Patreon at the link in the description. You can also simply uh, support my podcast on Anchor. You can set up the plan there, and I will also have uh, rewards for my patrons, uh, ranging from shout-outs to um, short, original short stories, just whatever might be there, go there and sign up if you want it. Anyways, uh, stay well, stay safe, stay home, and as always, um, follow the will of Blue Heaven. <laughs>